Oh, no, welcome, welcome to Jehovah Ro Happy and Joyous Club. Again, another publicity live Facebook. Every Thursday we are here. <laughs> and to let people know, uh, the public and also our close friends to know more about Jehovah Ro Happy and Joyous Club. We have been doing this for more than 50 years. I think close to 50 weeks. <laughs> and uh, actually today, the interviewee was supposed to be Rashwin. Uh, last minute change uh, because uh, change happens. And we have the honor of our president, uh, President Mui Chen for the year 2022 to 2044 to share with us more about Johor Bahru. Happy and joyous club. <laughs> Mui Chen, are you all ready? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Ah, huh? uh, because Mui Chen has, is a very, very dynamic president that we have. Uh, the first question I'm going to ask her is, uh, what is your greatest learning from being the president of Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club since you took up the role in 2022. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Well, um, I took up this post. Uh, it's based on my uh, experience for the, uh, the previous two years as a vice president. And uh, I feel that uh, it is time for me to do something more uh, because we feel that the uh, Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club platform is so huge huh, for all of mm -hmm. us to uh, work on it. So um, the, the most important thing is, is to be able to get started and then move on. So uh, I actually learned a lot of things through this uh, period of time because um, we lead the way. We, uh, I lead the way at the same time I also... Uh, initiate quite a number of activities uh, that uh, it is pertaining to our, our mission of Johor, uh, Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club. As we know that uh, the mission of Johor Bahru Joyous Club uh, is to actually to share the joy of laughter to the community and, and many other activities that the club is having. And uh, the good thing is that uh, it is like a giving me an opportunity to be able to do it on my own, at the same time to be able to work with the team of the people. So the team plays an important part in the whole Jawa Baru Happy and Joyous Club. That's why we call it EXCO. So it is an experience. Um, things that happen always have a reason. So I always take it as a step forward to move on and do something useful which I think, um, which I'm always doing, uh, being persistent, uh, being patient and perseverance and positive of the, of the whole of Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club. Wow. At the same time, be able to be very re resilient over all the other um, uh, sort of like uh, anything that is negative, I am able to mm. uh, overcome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wow, well said, well said, President. Mm. You are, uh, have learned so much uh, from being the role of uh, the President because it's so different to be as members. See, now we do have lovely members here uh, together with us, supporting, and uh, we have our Vice President, uh, Bachan. We have <laughs> our Golden Girl, Sister Kim, another Golden Girl, Sister Hyang, and of course, we have you, uh, uh, also a fantastic members here. Thank you for being here, and of course, for the viewers out there, thank you for being with us, and always remember to watch, to like, to share, and to comment as well. Yeah, uh, President, share with yes. us the most memorable moments you had. Most memorable. I know there are so many. Is it? Uh, just uh, share with us one memorable moment you have since becoming the President. Oh, <laughs> as I said, uh, there are many. Um, but um, I would say... Uh, being a president is being visible, uh, being able to uh, carry yourself uh, to, the, to the public 
uh, at the same time, uh, get, creating awareness of Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club. So I always believe in consistently promoting the, the awareness uh, of what Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club can do for the public. So it's, it is always remember that uh, uh, you, it's actually is like um, what and any ask, memorable moment. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So many, many, so so many. But I feel that um, uh, being able to be recognized by people, especially uh, during the uh, invitation by the government organization and non-government organization, mm -hmm. they actually get you to include them together include me together with them so i feel that uh, it is a, a sense of sense of achievement uh, because they recognize mm -hmm. uh, our club okay. uh, being, so, uh, so you can see that uh, inclusion uh, not yes. only by our members and our yeah. club but also by the community and other uh, government and non-government organizations mm -hmm. That's so wonderful. Huh? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, we all have our vision huh, for our mm -hmm. club. Uh, what are your vision for the club or where you think our club should be directed to? Oh, yes. Because uh, according to our vision of Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club, we are supposed to work closely with the government and non-government organization, which this is a very important vision that oh, I always like to carry on to move on so that we can bring more happiness to the community, especially our club members can be included uh, in this kind of, of uh, activities with NGO and NGOs uh, so that they also learn the uh, to have a sense of belonging, a uh, sense of belonging where they can see that this is a feeling proud of themselves as a Johor Bahru Happy and Joyous Club members, uh, involving in all the different activities. Uh, so this is something that I, I feel that uh, we have to move on, carry on with the activities because uh, creating activities is easy. Uh, to have the people involved in the activities is something that we can uh, move closely with them. I spend more time to, to the groundwork by meeting these people and uh, show our concern and care for them is because we want to know what happened to them and how we can actually bring them together in the Johor Bahru Happy Joyous Club Arena. Uh, so the future of the club is still on the membership huh? mm -hmm. and also the caring care and concern for the members. Yes. You joined as a member eight years ago mm -hmm. in July 2015. And in October 2015, you became a certified laughter yoga leader. <laughs> and I remember in 2018, when we were interviewing some members, and you were there uh, to share your thoughts. Let's just watch. Uh, this video actually seven minutes, but we'll watch only about one or two minutes. For those who want to watch more, we will uh, to view the video. We will post it out uh, or in the social media. So this is Komui Chen. <laughs> now, now she looks so much younger. <laughs> this, this was five years ago. Uh, okay, let's watch. Five years ago. Uh, I'm a semi-retired property negotiator. And... Uh, okay, I, uh, I'm, I'm very deeply thankful to Fang Li Jin who has actually introduced me to... Johor Bahru Happy Joyous Club through a fun night gathering here. And on that day, I straight away decided to join the club as a member. And I brought a friend along. And then today, I can see that this friend of mine enjoying herself very much. So, uh, after that, uh, I continued to come for the club activity. And uh, then we have a weekly uh, laughter session in Leisure Mall. That was how I started the group with them and after a while and I like it very much I begin to think of whether I can go to different taman to start off with the latter yoga and I chosen Blangi Inda as my Okay, <laughs> so this is a snapshot of uh, she. See now, uh, uh, become younger. <laughs> uh, and of course, uh, I also want to show uh, 
how uh, oh, oh. Oh. our how <laughs> our member <laughs> uh, now, of course now she's the president uh, how she enjoy herself in zoom laughter because it's her baby you know <laughs> this is her zoom laughter since 2020 and mm. she really uh love uh, the child like play you know let's see her doing a child like play action in our zoom after okay Mui Jane, <laughs> 30 seconds you uh, uh, <laughs> you can see her, uh, she's just, she's she's so playful. <laughs> really one of the elements of joy uh, to play. Uh. I, I just want to share another video of how uh, it's again another of her passion, you know. She 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 loves to uh go to hospitals and also uh governmental organization she's making uh channels uh, for our club to really pursue further in sharing uh, the goodness of laughter to everyone of course not only laughter yoga but also uh, all the other activities of uh, Johor Baru happy and joyous club so another short short video <laughs> <laughs> and this is at the hospital my because our president have been going to hospitals universities and government organization we are very grateful for her uh, for this uh, uh, her term in as a president she has uh, provided so many channels for our club. Mm. She single-handed <laughs> was at Hospital Promai herself. Uh, and she was uh, leading a laughter yoga sessions to the staff and also the public uh, for Hospital Promai. This is, uh, I think it's at 2022. Uh. This year. This year. The recent, ah, uh, this year recent. October. Hey, a month ago, ah. <laughs> yeah, 25th October, almost a month uh, ago. Mm. So you see our our president is so cool. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you see time flight. Uh, uh, the interview is coming to a stop. Uh, mm. And I really thank all of you for being here. Uh, uh, of course, we have our members are very great supporters. Uh, mm -hmm. like Sister Hyang, Sister Kim, uh, Sister Yu, and Vice President Bachan, and our interviewee, uh, Mui Chen. And of course, the viewers out there who are watching uh, this live Facebook, uh, you watch it, you like mm -hmm. it, <laughs> and you share it and comment, uh, comment mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, everyone, you. for being thank here. You. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye 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 bye.